Hello guys, I am back again, still updating you with the breaking, trending news, what is going on in Nigeria. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your location at this time of the day. Alright guys, um, I have a quick one to share with you. Uh, these northern people has really, really, they mean what I should call business, that they really don't want to see any Igbo man. They don't want to have anything to do with the Igbos anymore in Nigeria. Remember a few days ago, I updated you the statement from a coalition of a northern group where they threaten mayhem if Igbo man nears Aso Rock. Okay, that was how they put it. That was the statement that they don't want to see any Igbo man close to Aso Rock. You know, personally, I was like thinking if Aso Rock has become... Um, their inheritance, if Aso Rock has become their properties, or if they are the people that really owns Nigeria. That was my initial contribution. Okay, guys, uh, without wasting much of your time, the Northern Elders Forum yesterday Friday said it stand by its own call on the Igbos of the Southeast to be allowed to leave Nigeria. If that is what they want, the Northern Elders Forum also told Loane Zendibo to channel its energy towards contributing to the security of the region from the rising threat of insecurity. All right, um, what actually happened was that when these people made that statement uh, that they don't want any Igbo man to near Aso Rock, and then the, um, calling on the international community and the Nigerian government to hasten uh, the referendum process, if the Igbos wants to go, they should go. That was their initial statement. So according to um, the spokesperson of President Buari, um, Gabashehu, on Channels Television, I think that, that was Channels Television or Arise Television, condemning the statement by the Northern Elders Forum on sending Igbo away or they should allow the Igbos to go if they want to go. Now, this is a typical example of when you talk about impunity. If that statement were to come out from a person or from somebody from any other region, believe me, the following day, DSS, you will sleep in DSS facility. Now, let us look at it this way. What is the difference between this particular man calling on the Igbos to go and the leader of IPOB, Mazin Namdekanu, in DSS custody? What is the difference between both of them? They are calling on the Igbos to go if they want to go. They even file a court um, application for a referendum date to be fixed so that they should vote. The federal government should hasten the process for the Igbos to go. Yes. And that is the same thing Sunday Boho was preaching. That is the same thing Namdekan was preaching. But both of them, they are now victims of circumstance. But this man is sleeping, eyes closed. Nothing like a race. Nobody cautions him. No security agents after him. Have you seen the impunity I am talking about? Okay, um, the convener of the Northern Elders Forum, uh, Professor Ango Abdullahi, uh, while reacting to uh, Ohaneze, uh, reacting to a statement or comment credited to spokesperson of Ohaneze Ndibu, Dr. Alex Obonaya, in which he referred to the spokesperson of Northern Elders Forum, Dr. Hakim Baba Ahmed, as a security threat. Okay, um, that is uh, the update I have for you. Uh, so far, so good. I mean, it's so pathetic that these people has um, made every other people, other region to feel that they are the owner of the country. Why will you make such a statement? If someone else were to make such a statement, even on social media, that the government is doing everything humanly possible to regulate, if somebody should make this type of statement, even on the social media, believe me, the person will be tracked down, the person will be traced, the person will be arrested, the person will sleep in DSS custody for as long as they want the person. But this is somebody that even went ahead to file a court application to hasten or to you know compel the Nigerian government and the international community to hasten the referendum process of Biafra. And nothing is happening to this man. Have you seen the impunity there? All right, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think. See you in another update. And please don't 
forget to subscribe turn on your bell notification so you get updates whenever i publish a new video for you guys see you in another update